Always wear chemical resistant powder free gloves while performing this procedure. The ion block components can be contaminated with biohazardous and or toxic materials. Both the isolation valve stem and the restrictor valve may be cleaned by wiping with a lint free cloth wetted with methanol. If necessary, use a glass fiber pen to gently remove deposits from the isolation valve stem and then place the stem in a vessel containing 50-50 methanol water and ultrasonicate it for 20 minutes. The use of acid for cleaning these components is not recommended. Using a glass fiber pen, gently rub the surface of the cone gas nozzle to remove gross contamination. If the sample cone contains debris, place a drop of formic acid on its orifice. Immerse the sample and gas cones in separate clean glass vessels containing 50-50 methanol and water. Ensure that neither cone is placed on its tip at any point during the cleaning procedure. Place the disassembled ion block in another vessel containing the same solution. If the components are obviously contaminated, use a solution of up to 10% formic acid. For example, a 45 to 45 to 10 solution of methanol, water, and formic acid. Sonicate the vessels containing the sample and gas cones and ion block for 30 minutes. If formic acid was used in the cleaning solution, follow these steps to rinse the components. Immerse them in a glass vessel containing water. Place the vessel in the ultrasonic bath for 20 minutes. Displace the water by immersing the components in a glass vessel containing methanol and then sonicate for 10 minutes. To avoid recontaminating the components, wear clean chemical resistant powder-free gloves for the rest of the procedure. Carefully remove the sample cone, cone gas nozzle, and ion block from the vessels and blow dry them with inert oil-free gas. Pay particular attention to drying screw holes and other areas that could trap liquid.